Yeah, so a lot of you may have heard of Access to Justice. We're a group that's been meeting here for a while now. I just hopped on the crew a few months back. Um, but I don't want to spend too much time explaining our group. But basically what we are seeking to do is to hack the reentry and recidivism um, process here in Chicago and basically the challenges that are involved in it. So after a lot and a lot of preparation and work, we finally had our first event. And I'm going to go into detail on that on the last slide. But basically, um, sorry. So uh, coming to this group, I had no, no idea what reentry and recidivism was. Um, so um, I'll be the first to admit that. Um, but yeah, basically reentry is after you're incarcerated, coming back into society, the process that you experience. And then recidivism is after you're um, out of the system, going back into the system. And there are a lot of challenges that we had found and were experiencing um, other people are having um, in this process. And so our goal was to come together as a group and figure out the best way to attack some of these challenges. So as you can see, um, these are some of the pop popular stats around this, uh, around the challenges. Um, which brings us to the event that we had about a month ago. So this is a two-day event that we had um, in Englewood um, exactly a month ago from today. And the first night we had a documentary screening of two people that are experiencing re-entry. Um, and it follows them through the process. And the second day we had our collab. So what we did was we grouped together, a lot of us, and we had um, an event, um, like I said, in Englewood. And the turnout was much better than we thought. There, throughout the day, we had about 70 people come through, um, most of which were from communities around that area um, and organizations that are also um, in the business of helping this process. Um, and a couple of the takeaways that we had, first and foremost, was actually being on the ground, so to speak, um, and not necessarily working in this building. Um, it was a great experience for us. It was a great experience to be with the people that are actually experiencing the challenges um, that we're trying to fix. Um, it allows us to get on a much deeper level um, what's important to them and the actual challenges that they're facing because we found out ahead of time that a lot of the challenges that we thought they had were not and they had a lot of challenges that we didn't think about in the first place. So it was a great um, education for us and helped us um, focus moving forward onto what we think based on what they're saying is important. Um, another couple of takeaways that we had, um, many of the challenges that they were experiencing were around employment and education. Um, they spoke a lot to not having access to a lot of the resources um, that everyone thinks they have. Um, so moving forward, we're going to be really focusing on these specific challenges um, and working with these people that we've built relationships with now and potentially um, outsourcing some of our meetings to um, the Englewood Accelerator, which is where we hosted this event. Um, and one of the other major takeaways was a mindset change that we, at least myself, experienced. Um, before hearing these people's stories, um, again, I'll be the first to admit that I initially thought, well, if somebody is incarcerated, it's because of actions that they did and it's their choice. Um, but really, the truth is that these people um, are born into a system that they don't have any resources. Um, they don't have any people around them. They don't have anyone to look up to. They don't have, um, they're ba basically born into um, the system that, you know, they go back into incarceration and come out and then go back in again. Um, so it definitely opened up a lot of our minds um, on what um, these people are experiencing and being able to be more empathetic um, towards what they're facing. Um, and then the last takeaway we had were how important, um, it kind of reflects what we have here, how important diversity is. And not only diversity in people's cultural backgrounds, but diversity in the experiences that we have, the diversity in our ideas, our challenges that we face. Because um, the cliche is diversity makes you stronger, but that's the truth. Um, not only diversity and you know, culture, but also ide ideas and challenges that we're facing. So with that being said, we have tons of ideas. Um, we love um, new people coming to our group, and we love to explain what we've learned and what we're going to be doing moving forward. Um, I want to do a quick thanks to all the sponsors. We had tons of support um, from Shy Hack Night and from a lot of other sponsors uh, for this event. And um, we look forward to you know, continuing to, to be the change that everyone wants to see and to continue with the reason why everyone's here, um, to help people and um, make the world a better place, for lack of better words. Thank you.